Uh, hello, my name's Simon Philpot. I'm assistant principal here at WCG. I'm also college director for Rugby College. Uh, I want to welcome you all to the virtual open uh, evening uh, where I'm going to try and describe to you about what we do at Rugby College, the facilities that we've got and the courses that we offer. Um, where can you study at WCG? Uh, you can study across seven of our colleges, um, across Worcestershire and Warwickshire. Our rugby college is the furthest east and the furthest west we have Malvern. Uh, our rugby college is a general further education college, so we have a range of subjects and departments that you can study in. We do, as WCG, have more specialised colleges, um, for example our Trident College, which specialises in engineering, uh, construction and motor vehicle. Uh, what can you study at Rugby College? Like I say, there's a range of subjects that you can study when you're with us. Um, everything from a large A-level provision um, to art and design. We have a large art and design facility. Um, uh, we've got uh, performing arts, production arts, with a theatre um, and, and green rooms for rehearsals. Uh, we also have uh, sport and public services with um, uh, purpose-built sports hall uh, and also catering um, and hospitality where we've got professional kitchens which our students can use. But the range of subjects you can study here at Rugby College, um, we, we, we've got everything covered for you to study here. Um, just some sort of information about progression of our students. So a high proportion of our students do have positive progression. Positive progression for us is either going into employment, uh, further education, so further studies or higher education or an apprenticeship. And as you can see from the information on this slide, uh, we have a high percentage of students that, based in those subject areas, do progress to a, a positive destination when they study for us. So it shows that what we are teaching our students, what our students experience and the skills they leave, give them that opportunity to succeed and have that positive destination. And why choose Rugby College? Um, Rugby College uh, is a purpose-built uh, college um, here in Rugby. Um, on site we have a sports hall, a, a gym, we have an all-weather pitch for our sports students and we also have a children's nursery. Um, the nursery here, we, we are the only college uh, within WCG with uh, childcare facilities, so if you do study with us and ha need those facilities then they can be uh, available for you. Um, we're well connected. Rugby College is just a five minute walk from the train station for students that maybe commute from outside of the area. Um, it's also uh, on many bus routes and we have uh, buses that can get you to college. Um, we have extensive engineering facilities here. Um, so uh, we have a high number of engineering students that can use the facilities within our Power Academy um, as well as a purpose-built motor vehicle workshop. We have fantastic facilities for brickwork for carpentry and for plumbing. We also have hair and beauty salons, so we've got four working salons where we invite the public, clients to come in, work with our students and receive treatments. We've also got, like I mentioned, a performing arts studio and theatre. So this is a large theatre, 150 seater theatre, where we put numerous performances on throughout the year which are open to the public. Um, as of uh, last year, we also have a brand new catering facility where we offer level one and level two catering. We've got purpose-built professional kitchens uh, and a chef that will train our students to work um, within those professional environments. Um, our success of our students at college. So in particular, our success for A-levels, for example. Um, in uh, 2019, when our students picked up their grades, 98% uh, of our students passed and in 13 A-level subjects, 100% of our students passed that subject. Um, entry requirements. Now, entry requirements for the courses that you might be interested in will be slightly different depending on the department and the subject that you're interested in. So I'd recommend that you look at the website, um, see the specific entry requirements for that course or courses that you're interested in. As a general feel for our entry requirements, to, to uh, gain entry onto a level one course, we would expect a grade one to two in maths and English. For a level two subject, we generally ask for four GCSEs at grade three or above, including maths and English. Um, for level three, we'd expect four or five grade four to nine at GCSE, including maths and English. Um, with regards to maths and English, 
If you do not achieve maths and English while you're at school and join us in September, then we would put the uh, facilities on and the resource on for you to retake and restudy your maths and English. Um, so you may pass one and not the other, or you may need to resit both, but we find that it's extremely important that you do have the ability and the chance to resit and, and, and take those again. So that would be a compulsory part if you weren't to achieve maths and English at grade four or above. So student support. Um, some of you may think coming to college you lose all student support and you're not cared for like you're cared for at college and that's incorrect. You know, we've got academic support, we've got tutors um, that would work with you. Um, we've also got support needs for any health needs, um, learning needs maybe that you might have that you disclose at interview to our staff. Other things that we do, we've got learning support, so this is dedicated student support for your studies, um, for advice while you're with us at the college. Um, you also have a personal and an academic tutor, someone that you um, or your parents can talk to um, or your employer if you're on an apprenticeship, um, someone that they can talk to uh, and gain an understanding about how you're getting on with the course and any issues or concerns that maybe they have or questions they have for us. Um, in addition, we have student services. Um, we recognise as a college that 16, 17, 18 year olds and above um, have things that happen to them outside of college and come into to circumstances that maybe they need our additional support. So we've got trained people that can help you with your financial support, um, with careers advice. Uh, we've got a college nurse, a welfare team, college counsellor for any, any, anything that maybe happens to you or, or you experience while you're studying with us. Um, we also have a large student union. Um, so this is a union that is put on uh, for students to be involved in. So you can be wi a part of a wider college network. Um, extremely good for personal statements, for applying for university to, to show that you're, you're, you're not just here to study, you're here to actually be, be part of that wider student group. Um, in addition to that, um, for FE students, um, we do have contact with parents. Um, parents have a ded dedicated person they can contact, it may be a head of department or the personal learning advisor. Um, we do have contact, we send parent reports home um, and we do have parents evenings. So though it's college, um, there are still things in place that, uh, that mimic school and, and, and give the opportunity for parents to, to get some understanding on, on how you are getting on. Um, so how do you apply? Um, the easiest way for you to apply is to click onto our website um, and, 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 and apply online. Um, you're okay to change your mind. It's okay to apply for one course or multiple courses. We would invite you in for an applicant event. It's a little bit like an, an informal interview. Um, you'd be invited in, you'd meet some of the team, um, and, and we'd talk to you about why you want to come on courses, um, why you want to study here, and we can give you a, a better understanding of, of what we can offer you. Um, after that, we then make offers for you to subject to, to e meeting entry requirements. You then get to, to, to sort of um, have an offer of a place studying with, with us at college. Um, so what do you do next? A um, number of things you can do. You can study, you can go to our website uh, and have a look at the courses that we have on offer. Um, you can follow us on, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, you can get in touch. You can get in touch with the marketing team uh, as part of tonight, as part of our virtual open evening. Uh, there are advisors on hand to answer your questions, um, to sort of uh, point you in the right direction so you know what to do next for you to apply. Um, that's the end of my talk. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Please do get in touch with the marketing team and the advisors uh, if you've got any further questions. Um, and hopefully at our next open evening, I will see you then. Thanks for your time.